Today I'm going to take you through a 30 minute upper body dumbbell workout using compound lifts only. For this workout I'm going to use one lighter pair of dumbbells, one heavier pair of dumbbells and an optional bench but I'll show you variations with or without a bench. We're going to kick this workout off with a brief body weight warm up. Let's get going. We're going to do four 30 second intervals in this warm up, linking one exercise straight into the next without any gaps. I'll give you a little preview of what's up next. We're going to get the shoulders moving for this, doing some arm circles. We'll do 15 seconds forward, 15 seconds back. Let's get yourself ready to go. So nice big circles. This is only a short warm up, then we'll get you into that main workout. And backwards. We're going to do some T spine rotations after this. So let's get ready to come onto the knees. We need to reach under, reach up, stay on that same side. We're going to do 30 seconds on this side and then 30 seconds on the other. This is a great one for opening out that chest and upper back. And getting you ready for some shoulder and chest exercises. And switch. After this, we're going to link it straight into something called some prone overhead reaches. For those, you're going to lie face down on the floor. You're going to be reaching your hands over your head, trying to keep your lower back relaxed. Reach and lock out, keeping the hands hovering. Back to the feet, straight into those circles. Just running those through one more time. And then that's the warm up complete. And backwards. For this workout, I'll be using a bench. If you haven't got one, don't worry. I'll show you options without into the kneeling rotations. So reach, reach under, reach up. And switch. Prone overheads now. All right, grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna use some 12 and a half kilo dumbbells. That's about 28 pounds each. But just make do of what's right for you. We're gonna do three rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, starting 
with a dumbbell shoulder press. I'm gonna do this on the bench, but you can do this standing as a strict press as well. So don't worry if you haven't got a bench. We've got four exercises of those 40, 20 intervals. Let's get ready to go. Nice smooth tempo. Thinking about three counts on the way down and then one to two on the way up. Dumbbells don't need to touch your shoulders. Hover just off the top. Maybe bringing the handles in line with the ears. Onto a pull exercise now. I'm gonna do a prone reverse grip one and a half row. And if you're standing, you can just do the same exercise in a bent over row position. So you're gonna do one and an extra half at the top, full stretch. One extra half at the top, back to full stretch. But the dumbbells are slightly angled just to make it comfortable. But we're taking an underhand reverse grip rather than your conventional overhand or neutral. So we're just doing those double reps at the top, but then returning to a full stretch. Always finish your rep. Great job. Next, we're gonna do a push press. So you don't need the bench for this. We're gonna do this from a neutral position at your shoulders. You're gonna let the legs help out with the press. Returning them back to the shoulders. Your shoulders should be a little bit pre-fatigued from that shoulder press. So although usually you'd be stronger on a push press than you would a shoulder press, because this is coming later in the routine, it should even out what weight you'd want to use. Great job. Next up, we've got some cleans. So we're gonna do a dumbbell clean. Coming from just below knee level, swiveling the elbows under. Nice flat back. This is not a bicep curl. You should be powering up, swiveling the elbows under. Great job. There's one full round complete. You've got a short break and then we're going back. We've got two more to go. So either you're gonna get ready for that standing strict press or that seated shoulder press. Thank <sighs> you. 
Definitely feeling it more this second round. Got that either bent over row or prone row position. Doing the one and a half reverse grips. Great job. Got that push press next. Make sure you're not leaning back at the top. Your biceps should finish level with your ears when your arms lock out. Glute tucked under slightly, abs drawn down. Feeling and burning now. Get ready for those cleans. It's actually a hang clean because we're not going all the way to the floor. We're just going to go from just below knee level. Great job. Go on to that final round in this first section. Definitely burning. Rather than pulling up in a straight line, you should be pulling up and slightly back towards your pockets. It'll stop you from using your arms too much and get your back involved.
Get ready for the push press. And then finishing up section one, we've got those hang cleans. You want a relatively narrow foot stance to stop the dumbbells bashing into your legs. is a good one for the traps and shoulders. A little bit of hip power in there as well. All right, great job. Take a break. We're gonna to switch to some heavier dumbbells now. I'm gonna use 17 and a half kilos. That's about 38 pounds each. The first exercise is gonna be a flat, neutral grip bench press. So if you get set up ready for that. If you're enjoying training with me, and you'd like to do more, I'm launching a members area with extra workouts, workout plans you can follow, nutrition tips. So check that out. I've also got some eBooks on my website if you just wanna follow one program. You can purchase those individually. Let's get ready to go on this neutral grip bench press. So neutral grip means that your palms are facing one another. If you haven't got a bench, you're just gonna do a neutral floor press. Feel that stretch in the pecs. And then press to the top. Right, we've got either a bent over row, if you haven't got a bench, or we're just gonna do a regular overhand grip prone row, if you're on the bench. No halves this time, just regular reps. All right, we've got a classic bench press now with that overhand grip or a wide grip floor press. Pin your shoulder blades back to the bench. Squeeze your chest together as you press. Ooh, 
nice control on the way down. Dumbbell should come just wider than your chest. Elbows passing the depth of your body. Okay, we've got a pullover now. If you're doing this on the floor, then you've got a cushion or something you can prop your upper back. That'll help you to get a better range of motion. Obviously, if you're on the bench, that doesn't matter. So just reach as far as your shoulders feel comfortable for. You should be keeping a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole rep. So I've got a slight bend in the elbow, but then I'm trying to maintain that bend the same throughout. Getting a nice stretch on the lats. All right, great job. There's one round done. We've got two more to go, and that's the workout complete. Definitely feeling the upper body. Those prone rows especially were tough for me. Neutral grip, <laughs> bench press. If you fancy checking out that members area that I was talking about with the extra content not on YouTube, there's some longer workouts on there. There's a variety of programs you can choose from within the members area. Reps and sets follow along style programs as well as the follow along workouts. I'll link everything in the description of this video. Okay, we've got that prone overhand grip row. It was a tough one. I think I did about 15 reps. It's quite a lot of reps for this. Onto that flat, classic, regular grip bench press. Got that pull over next. Despite being upper body, still sweating.
Remember, keep that consistent elbow angle. Don't turn it into a tricep extension. This is an overhead reach. Keep the glutes engaged. Make sure your glutes aren't lifting off the bench. It doesn't matter if there's a natural arch in your lower back. You can try not to exaggerate it too much, but the main thing is just don't lift your hips off. All right, onto that final round. This workout's actually part of a 30 workout, six week dumbbell lift series. It's a free six week YouTube series. So if you fancy checking that out, I'll link the next day in the series at the end of this. And you'll also find the playlist for that series in this video's description. Let's go get this round done. Getting the chest muscles fired up. Don't forget to squeeze your pecs together as you press. Don't just think about the reps, think about how you're doing them. I heard a good quote. Your muscles aren't counting how many reps you've done. They either just experience fatigue or not. So don't cheat it, don't cheat the movement. flat bench press now or wide grip floor print press Final exercise, final set of the workout. Got those pullovers. Keep the glutes engaged. Nice big reach. Don't overstretch the shoulder though. And that's it, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me for that. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you did, and also let me know where in the world are you following along from. I truly do love to hear that. Here's the next day in that 30 workout free YouTube 
lift series. And if you want to check out my members area or any of my ebook programs, I'll link them below. See you soon for another workout.